Announced in August of 2019, the Canon 90D is a DSLR with a 33 megapixel APS-C size CMOS sensor and features Canon's Digic 8 processor. While three years earlier, in August of 2016, Canon announced the release of the 5D Mark IV, also a DSLR with a 30 megapixel full frame CMOS sensor running on the Digic 6 Plus processor. And today we're pitting these two cameras head to head. We'll look at the pros and cons of each and see who should be considering getting which one of these cameras in 2021. So we're going to jump straight in with the sensor sizes and the ISO values that you get. The 90D has a 33 megapixel APS-C size sensor with ISO values that go from 100 up to 25,600, expandable up to 51,200, while the 5D Mark IV has a 30 megapixel full frame sensor. And because it's full frame, you get higher ISO values that go from 100 to 32,000, expandable up to 102,000. 400. Now, as a rule of thumb, I never really go over 1600 ISO on a crop frame to avoid things like grain, but on the 5D Mark IV, I've shot over 3200 ISO, over 6400 ISO, and still have a really clean image. And that's one of the benefits of a full frame sensor shooting in lower light conditions. And I found this particularly useful for shooting things like wedding films, especially when the sun goes down and it gets dark having that full frame sensor is a real advantage to keeping your footage clean. When it comes to weight, the 90D is slightly lighter at 701 grams, while the 5D Mark IV weighs in at 890 grams. And that might not seem like a massive difference initially, but on long shoot days with big lenses attached, you start to notice that difference more and more. The 5D Mark IV is such a tank of a camera and it can really weigh you down, especially if you have it around your neck all day. The 90D also can get quite heavy after a while. And again, it just depends on what lens you have attached to it. I think that one of the benefits of the mirrorless system, which isn't even part of this conversation, but I'm adding it in, is that everything is much lighter and smaller. Now, one of the noticeable differences between the bodies of these two cameras is the LCD screen. Both of these have touch sensitive LCDs, but the 90D has a fully articulating screen, while the 5D Mark IV has a fixed type screen. Now, the versatility of a fully articulating screen is particularly useful if you are a solo content creator and you want to create YouTube videos or vlogs or even online classes, but it's also really handy if you're shooting photos or videos at low or difficult angles or if you need to adjust your screen because of really bright sunlight, something like that. So just having a fully articulating versatile screen makes things so much more easier. A benefit that both of these camera bodies have is that they're both weather sealed. So you can take them out in drizzle, you can take them out in the rain and not worry too much about them getting damaged. Now the mounts of these cameras are also slightly different. The 5D Mark IV has an EF mount, while the 90D has an EF slash EFS mount, which does mean that you have access to a larger library of lenses for the Canon 90D. For photography, the 90D shoots an impressive 11 frames per second continuous shooting, while the dated 5D Mark IV only reaches seven frames per second. And although the 5D Mark IV has 16 more focus points than the 90D, all of the 90D's 45 focus points are the cross type, while the 5D Mark IV has 41 cross type focus points, so just a little less than the 90D. I also found the face tracking focus of the 90D slightly faster and accurate than the 5D Mark IV, and I think this is probably down to the newer processor. So we took the 90D and the 5D Mark IV out for a couple of photo shoots to compare the picture quality. So let's run a little montage now and see if you can tell the difference before the image details are shown.
And here is a good place to add that if you haven't done so already, don't forget to add yourself to the Kai Creative Facebook and Instagram feeds where you can stay up to date with all of our photography sessions, video productions, short films, camera reviews, and other creative happenings. For filmmaking, both of these cameras have 1080 at 24, 25, and 60 frames per second, but the 90D has the extra addition of 120 frames per second in 1080, which is an awesome option for those of you looking to get that super slow epic B-roll at HD resolution. And this is definitely a big selling point of this camera for content creators, being able to shoot super slow handheld B-roll in a prosumer camera body is something that many Canon users were waiting for for a very long time. And now with the 90D, we finally have that option. Both of these cameras film at 4K at 24 and 25 frames per second. And a great feature on the 90D is that it doesn't have a crop on 4K video. Now it is an APS-C sensor camera, so it will still have a 1.6x crop on the focal length of your lens, but there isn't an additional crop on the 4K, which we have seen in a lot of other popular Canon cameras. Now the 5D Mark IV, although full frame, does crop the 4K by a factor of 1.7. And we can actually compare the 4K filming of these two cameras side by side to show you what you get when you're filming in the 4K setting. Now the 90D also has an option to turn the 4K filming crop on if you want to utilize it to increase the focal range of your lens. For handheld filmmaking, the Canon 90D also has a digital image stabilization option while the 5D Mark IV doesn't. This again points the 90D out as a content creator's camera for things like vlogging and travel videos and just using it to film yourself talking. And you can use this at frame rates up to 60 frames per second and with the 4K filming option and paired with some image stabilized glass, it's not bad at all. When it comes to battery life, the 90D is marked at 1300 shots, while the 5D Mark IV comes in much lower at 900 shots, roughly on a single battery. Now, so far you might be thinking that the newer 90D is thoroughly outshining the older 5D Mark IV. But if you were to ask most professionals which of these cameras they would choose for their client work today, they would probably go with the Canon 5D Mark IV. That full frame sensor with cleaner images would no doubt be a massive reason but also the option to shoot to dual cards gives that extra peace of mind for professional client work that if anything should happen to one of those cards, you have a backup of your work. Unfortunately, the 90D only has a single card slot and that would be a deal breaker for most working professionals. Additionally, for filmmakers, you can get 8-bit C-Log installed on your Canon 5D Mark IV. It's an extra cost, but it gives you greater dynamic range for your video productions. And this is an option that I haven't yet seen added to the Canon 90D. Another factor that might sway your opinion is the cost. The Canon 90D body is currently selling on the Canon US store for about $1,200 and on the UK Canon store, it's about £1,250. Second hand, I've seen these sell for around $800 to $1,000 in the United States and around $800 to £1,000 in the UK. Really depends on the condition and any accessories that you might get. And the 5D Mark IV is currently selling brand new on the Canon US store for $2,500 and an extra $100 if you want C-Log installed and on the Canon UK store for around £2,800. And I don't even know if they add C-Log onto that in the UK. Second hand on eBay, I've seen these sell for about $600 to $1,600 in the US, massively depending on the shutter count and condition of the unit, in the UK for around $800 to £1,500. Again, it really depends on how used the units are. So what do you guys think? Are you going to get the newer, flashier 90D or the older, legendary 5D Mark IV? Or do you already have experience with these cameras and have your own opinions? Well, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. As always, if you found today's video useful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit that little bell for notifications. So that's it from me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All that's left to say is stay creative, stay safe, imagine, implement and inspire, and I'll see you next time on Kai Creative.